My name is Jess Conard. I am a lifelong resident of East Palestine, Ohio. My parents and grandparents and their parents and their grandparents all have lived here. Um, we have survived here and thrived here for generations. We moved back, my husband and I, to raise our family in the same spaces where I grew up, the creeks where I played and the park and the people because this is a loving and trusting community. And everything changed um, shortly after the train derailment on February 3rd, 2023. My husband and I had recently purchased our dream home. We had scrimped and saved and made sacrifices because we wanted a great big house with a great big yard for our boys to play and, and run in. And we had all of that. We had amazing jobs and we were near family and it just felt like everything was coming together. And the past year and a half since the train derailment happened has essentially changed our thought processes, our family relationships, our friend relationships, the way that we think about the government and the policies that are in place, the way that we determine who to trust and the check boxes that we mark on why we trust them, knowing that those boxes could be unchecked at any time. I personally have made it a point to educate myself on the policy that matters, on the policy that will help us to move forward and to find gaps that we could improve legislation and find spaces in the rooms that matter to talk about those changes. Going from being a speech language pathologist to being a nationally recognized environmental advocate wasn't exactly what I had planned for my 2023 career goals, but it has been a pretty smooth transition. I've been able to use some of those skills to honor the responsibility that I have to reason with people to improve those neurological um, responses in in those rooms for, for policy change. So I've met more people in the past year and a half of my life than I have my whole life. Um, it's been a ride, it's been a journey, nothing less than spectacular. Um, wouldn't wish it on anybody. I have learned a lot from being in this situation and I think there is absolutely nothing that a mother wouldn't do for her kids and that has been my driving factor. I was pushed into high gear when my youngest son was diagnosed with asthma. That's when it became very real to me that we really weren't being told the truth about the derailment. So I have uh, joined a, a non-governmental organization to advocate for policy change and recognized that you can draw a straight line from the plastics industry to what happened in East Palestine. And yeah, it's been a, it's been a real life changer.